It's full lockdown in Tamil Nadu till May 31. Let's see how to apply for e-pass here. So watch our full video. So first of all, let's open the uh, mobile phone. Let's open Google Chrome. And uh, here we have to type TN e-pass, TN e-pass. Yes, then we are getting so many uh, things here, TN e-registration, verify TN e-pass, Tamil Nadu e-pass, uh, etc. So now we have to go for TN e-registration. So they will get so many details here. Uh, we are loading it once more. So first of all, coming to Tamil Nadu from a foreign country. Then in the district and in the state travel registration for individuals and industries. These are the two options uh, which the government has given to us. So we are going to coming to Tamil Nadu. So there are all people traveling within their district or traveling between districts or entering Tamil Nadu from other states or countries should register in the portal. So therefore, first of all, we have to register our number. We have to type our mobile number in the first column. Then they have given a five digit number here. Uh, that we have to type in the below the last column we have to type that uh, five digit number then uh, we have to click on the send OTP then it automatically loads the next page uh, it is asking about our OTP which is generated to the mobile number which we have given to them now you can type the OTP which has been generated to your registered mobile number then click on the login button so it is going to the next page Individual or group travel via road, bike, auto, car or SUV, inter-district and interstate. Then individual or group coming inside Tamil Nadu via train or flight. Then commercial establishments uh, organization, they have another port here uh, for their companies to register the e-pass. So we are going to the individual or group travel via road. So there we have to give uh, some details. Uh, there are only uh, four details which they have given medical emergency elderly care death or post death rituals or others that means going out of the state uh, so we have to select one one of the reason we have to select so then uh, we have to take the travel range traveling from one district to another then traveling within Tamil Nadu or going out to Tamil Nadu thereafter we have to select the travel date uh, you can select any date then the next thing you have to uh, upload the travel reason document so you have to give the document here you have, can browse it should be 1 MB can be a photo or uh, anything and on the next column we are writing the applicant's name now we are going to the next we have to provide the ID proof of the applicant it can be Aadhaar card ration card or driving license or PAN card or passport then uh, after selecting we have to give the uh, number of the ID card uh, then after writing the number of the ID card then we have to upload the the particular uh, ID card which we have given which we have given we have to upload it here uh, it that one also should be less than 1 MB now we have to type the number of passengers how many are traveling that we have to type in this column then on the next column we have to select which type of vehicles we are using we have the options like Innova, SUV, car or taxi, auto or bike. Then we can select the vehicle. Then we can type the vehicle number. The vehicle number which we are going to travel we have to type here. After that we have to press on the next button. So our next page is loaded. So here we have to type the uh, full address from where and to where we are going. From the state, district, taluk then flat number or house number street uh, street address pin code uh, then to where to which street uh, to which state to which district taluk uh, then flat number house number street address pin code all these things you have to provide here then click on the next button so the next page is loaded now the application for individual pass uh, here comes Total number of travelers including the applicant is uh, how many num numbers which we have given that will show here. Please fill all the travelers name. So the names will be provided here. We have to click on the names and uh, 
uh, thereafter we have to click on the submit button so then we comes to the next page like uh, terms and conditions they have given seven terms and conditions here uh, by clicking on submit uh, we have we are agreeing and confirming these things are true so read carefully uh, read very well and read carefully uh, then click on the accept and uh, submit button now they will show a pop up message uh, saying that your e pass has been registered they will give the details here then we can click on the view button so again they are asking for the mobile registered mobile number and we have to type the mobile number then on the next column they have given uh, some six digit number then type that uh, the copy that number and paste on the other column then click on the continue button